When we drove around the parking lot at the hospital today, we couldn't find a single empty spot and many staff members telling us that's a typical scene. They say it's so crowded that they're forced to drive off campus onto these side roads to try to find a spot to park. It's become such a big issue at the Veterans Affairs Hospital in West Haven that many doctors, staff members and patients have written to us frustrated, they say, because nothing is being done to accommodate them. I park out on the street and I've gotten tickets there also. The problem was made worse, employees tell us, when the hospital took away more than 100 parking spots to provide valet service for patients. The change, they say, has forced doctors, nurses, and other hospital employees to spend more than 40 minutes trying to find a place to park. They don't actually have that many handicapped parking spots, so sometimes you have to like sit and wait for somebody to come out or try to park on the opposite side, but it's still kind of a wait. Close to 2,700 employees here, plus uh, patients, inpatient and outpatient. It's quite a few people. It needs attention. Yet some were hesitant, many fearful, about talking to us on camera. Am I going to get in trouble for this? One woman who reached out to us told us her department head urged her not to talk to us about the issue. She did tell us, quote, we still believe this is a huge problem and the VA is not taking the correct measure to address parking for its employees. The hospital issued a statement to us reading in part, adjustments will be made weekly throughout the year to accommodate as many vehicles as possible for everyone who drives to the medical center. All the staff members we talked to said they're happy for the patients that there is now this valet option. They hope that works out well for them. They just wish there was some better option for the staff members. Reporting on the scene in West Haven, Allie Reed, News 8.